I thought this was an exciting piece of work because it is uh, the first of its kind in the in the UK and highlights the importance of um, looking at the care needs of people with B12 deficiency. So we found that four in 10 people with B12 deficiency or pernicious anemia self-injected um, and they had lower than average perceptions of safety in primary care. Um, and the people who perceived primary care as less safe or felt like they weren't treated with dignity and respect or involved in decisions were more likely to self-inject. We also found that middle-aged and older participants were more likely to self-inject compared with younger participants. And the two most common reasons why people chose to self-inject were to improve the quality of life and because of dissatisfaction of current treatment frequency. Based on the data, as well as our explanation of the data, it looks like this is a major communication and trust issue between patients with B12 deficiency and um, primary care practitioners. It has also to do with stigma and attitudes because this condition remains uh, stigmatized and people don't feel uh, confident to talk about it and, um, and uh, discuss it more openly and in a more uh, let's say, collaborative relationship with um, their providers. The study found that most people from the qualitative data didn't necessarily want to self-inject, but they felt like they didn't have a choice to have the discussions with uh, primary care practitioners to increase the frequency of the injections. From a patient safety perspective, there's lots of concerns and risks associated with self-injection and with not forming a healthcare professional that you're doing it.